In today's video, we want to show you how to better secure your Dodge Challenger or Charger using the Taser Programmer. Now, there's many different ways to help secure your vehicle, and it's always good to have multiple layers of protection. This is just one of the most simplest ways to add an extra layer of protection. So let me show you features that we have coming out for the Taser Programmer, which will give you some peace in mind in owning one of these beautiful vehicles. As you may know, our Taser has a ton of features that can help transform the way that you enjoy your vehicle. And one of those is our pin lock feature. That feature, which you can see here, as soon as I get in my vehicle and start it up, you'll see my pin counting down, which you can see here, and you can see our hazards flashing. We're just gonna enter in our pin using the cruise control buttons. And when it's entered correctly, the vehicle unlocks. With the basic version of pin lock, once the pin stops counting down and I didn't enter it, or the vehicle is put into drive without the pin, the vehicle will lock up, the brakes are now locked up, and there's a light show going on outside, which you can see here, drawing attention to the vehicle. Also with this base launch version of Pinlock, we have a carjack mode. So if somebody removes you from the vehicle, take the key, the key fob warning light flashes on the screen and then the door closes. That will then trigger Pinlock, meaning your brakes will lock up and the light show will go off after they drive away for a certain amount of time. Now, as I mentioned before, there's a ton of new features coming out for Pinlock, but before we get into those, I wanna show you one way to better secure your taser in your Dodge Challenger or Charger. Being that pin lock is a live setting of the taser it would need to remain plugged in to function properly but make sure to stay to the end of the video where we're going to reveal one of our newest features that is still going to work even if the taser gets removed so here in our trunk i want to show you what we call our double bypass as you see here we have an extra obd2 port which is plugged into the trunk and can be well hidden here you can actually plug your taser in and have it in the back here opposed to where ours is right now which is right down here where the normal obd2 port is okay let's get into some of the new settings of pin lock some of the awesome new features coming out to give you some added layers of protection here we are in our taser menu in our new security and pin section which was added when you go into this menu there's all different sub menus that you can pick certain options from so let's head on into that first thing we see here is clear pin obviously as you saw before we have entered a pin so if you would like to clear your pin you can go here Let's hit cancel and move on to the next one. This is an easy way to enable and disable your pin. Right here, it shows pin enabled is on, so our pin is currently working. This option you would use in case you're briefly giving your car to the car wash or going in for a dealer visit and you don't want your pin triggering as it's in the shop. So you can cycle that on and off. It's a very quick and convenient option. Next here in our menu is pedal disable. So let me show you what that is exactly when I turn that on. As soon as I turn that on, you'll see those lights start flashing and it says pedal off. And you can see here, service electronic stability control. Since we turn that on, my pedal is now dead. The accelerator isn't working, so I can actually shut off the vehicle. I can even remove the taser from the vehicle. It's removed right now. And even when I turn the car back on, guess what? The pedal's still dead it completely bricked the pedal from working. So let's plug that back in and I'll show you some of the other new options. We like to call our pedal disable kind of like our high security parking mode. So you could actually use pedal disable and then remove the taser and take it with you where the vehicle is gonna be immobilized because the gas pedal doesn't work any longer. Let's cycle over to our next menu option. As you could see here, it says pin brakes, which are on. This now gives you the option to enable and disable certain features within pin lock. So when pin lock triggers, our brakes are going to lock up, but in case you wanted the option where that doesn't happen, you can cycle that off. But of course, we're gonna keep that on because that's one of our favorite features of pin lock. Next here, you can have your horn when pin lock is triggered. We're gonna have that off for testing purposes so it doesn't go off every single time pin lock triggers. Also, you have the option to trigger your lights so you can have a light show going off on the outside. We wanna keep that on because we want to draw attention to our vehicle in case somebody does try to steal it and pin lock is triggered. Here you see accelerator kill, which is currently on. This is one of our new features where when pin lock triggers, your gas pedal will also go dead and the vehicle will be immobilized that way. You'll not only have your brakes lock up, but you'll also have your gas pedal disabled. Our next option here 
is one of our favorite, and this is Kill by Fob. This we're gonna get into a little later, so just bear with us. Now, next here in our menu, we have carjack mode. This is currently on, you can cycle this on or off. So this depends on the area that you live in. Maybe you feel comfortable not having this enabled. Maybe you feel like this is a great feature to keep on. We're gonna keep it on because we do like it, and not very often are we exiting the car with the vehicle still running. So it's not that much of an inconvenience for us. All right, let's show you how carjack mode works. I got my keys here. Let's just assume, you know, it's in your pocket and you get ripped out of the car. So this is gonna be us fleeing the scene with our key and then somebody's gonna get in our car, right? The carjacker is now taking our vehicle. You're gonna see the key fob has left the vehicle notification and you're gonna hear the chime to remind you that it's left. Once you start to drive and you start moving, you'll see the hazards click on. There they are, started going. And you'll also see up top there where it says enter pin. After some time, your pedal is gonna go dead and there it is. Service electronic stability control with the symbol up there shows that the pedal went dead. Because I came to a full stop, the brakes also jammed up and I'm definitely not moving not going anywhere. You can see our brake light there, our ABS light there. Now we're completely locked up until we put our pin in, now it unlocks. The vehicle shuts off. As soon as we turn it back on, it will actually say pin bypass, and now we can drive again. Now this new version of CarJack triggers on movement, and of course, once pin lock is triggered, it also depends what you have selected in your menu. So if you have the pedal to be disabled, that will disable. If you have the brakes to go off, that will go off. Same thing with the horn and the lights. Here you can see pin clear. This is set to 60 minutes. So if you have to clear your pin and you don't remember what your pin was, you have the option to clear it, but you have to wait in the vehicle for an hour. But this also gives you the option to set it to only 10 minutes. So you have different options if you want it set for 10 minutes or 60 minutes. Now pin lock is great and we really love the pedal disable feature because even if the taser is removed, you'll still have that layer of protection to keep your vehicle from getting stolen. But what if there was a way to disable your pedal without even having to go through the taser menu. And there is, and we're gonna show you exactly what that is. And you saw it in the taser menu and that's called kill by fob. Let me grab our keys and I'll show you exactly how that looks. As you can see here, I have my two keys, which I labeled key one and key two. Now watch what happens when we lock the vehicle with one of our keys. We're gonna lock the vehicle You'll see the lights flash once to show that the car's locked, and then it's gonna flash again to confirm that our kill by fob feature just went off. Now let's get inside, and I'll show you what happens with this feature. So I'm gonna unlock it with the same key now. Now the lights will actually flash again on the outside, showing that it unlocked from that key. Start the car, and look at this. It says pin bypass, showing that we don't have to enter our pin now from the cruise control button using pin lock. The key actually did all that for us. Now let's do this one more time. We're gonna do it from the inside. Shut off the car. I'm gonna lock the car with key fob number one. Lock the car. You'll see the hazards flash, and then it'll flash again, showing that the feature went off. Now we're gonna take key fob number two, and I'm gonna unlock it with this key. So I'm gonna unlock it but it did not flash again. Now the vehicle itself is unlocked, right? The door is unlocked, I can start the car. But with kill by fob, my pedal's disabled. And the pin is still counting down because it wasn't unlocked with our first key here, but with the second. Now with the pin counting down, the pedal's disabled, so the gas pedal doesn't work and will only work once I put the pin in and I enter it correctly. Now I could turn the car back on and it will say pin bypassed. We're actually gonna plug in this laptop here. And I wanna show you exactly what's going on with this feature in our terminal. Taser's plugged in and the computer is plugged into the taser. You can see here all these at symbols showing that it is reading the taser. Let's grab key fob number one. We're gonna lock the vehicle using our kill by fob feature. As you can see here, it says the pedal's bricked from this key. That's our key ID and it's confirming it's bricked with the VIN of our car. If we unlock it with the same key fob, it will confirm the same thing, saying that it was unlocked with that key. Therefore, the pin is now bypassed. Let's lock it again with this key. 
it's locked, the pedal's bricked. Now, take key fob number two, or in a thief's case, a cloned key. Let's unlock the vehicle. Look what happens. It says the keys don't match because the key that locked it was this key ID and the key that unlocked it was that one. So one of the reasons we love this feature is because it really does help protect against theft. Majority of the time, what they're doing is cloning your key signal. Programming key fobs and using relay attacks to take over a vehicle's computer system. The parent company of Rams, the The way they enter your vehicle is through the car door proximity sensor and then they use the push start. With the kill by fob feature, they're not duplicating the same key ID, which we are verifying via the car's VIN number. The way they would clone the key's lock and unlock ID, they would need to physically press these buttons next to their device, which clones their key. The way they're able to steal so many cars is they're just going up to people's door and cloning the signal to get into the cars. Even if a thief finds their way into your vehicle, maybe that's through a window or the sunroof, they won't be able to unlock the gas pedal because it can only be unlocked through your pin or that key that you locked it with. Now, a good habit to get into is to actually use your fob. Just remember to lock it from your key fob. So now that we're leaving our vehicle, we're just gonna lock it with the key fob. Flashes, it's gonna flash again, confirming that the setting went off and now the BCM is bricked and the accelerator pedal can't work. When we get back to our vehicle, just unlock it with that key fob. You'll see a flash, and then it'll flash again, confirming the setting went off, and now the vehicle is unbricked. Say you forgot your key fob, or you forgot to use the key fob, and unlock it using proximity entry. Well, you can just unlock the vehicle using your pin lock key code. But it's a good habit just to lock and unlock it using your key fob. Now we know this video was packed with information. The firmware update is also packed with features as you can see. But not only is the firmware update full of these features that you saw in this video, but there's also some bug fixes as well as stability improvements. These features aren't only available for our standard Taser, it will also be available for our Taser DT as well as coming soon to our Taser Ram and our Taser JL. Now being that this update is full of features, you might have a lot of questions. So please Please leave a comment down below and we'll do our best to answer. Also, don't miss the video here, which teaches you how to install the double bypass into your Challenger or Charger, giving you a second OBD2 port and certain models you need that double bypass to even use the taser. But for us, it's an added layer of protection to hide our taser. Check it out. And thanks for watching.